With most of the country already under extreme measures, it's clear that we need to do more together to bring this new variant under control while our vaccines are rolled out. In England, we must therefore go into a national lockdown which is tough enough to contain this variant. We are golfers, the hopeful and grateful amateurs, the professionals, the green keepers that maintain our beautiful links, the club professionals, the staff, and the businesses that depend on the game for their livelihood. We are the golf clubs that all over the world will bring friendship and competitive play together in perfect harmony, and for many, help maintain a sanity in a dystopian world. We're tired of what the world has done to us this year, but we will play again. The cancellation of our tour was the beginning. I can still remember when we knew this was getting serious. COVID took our players. As things progressed into the week, certainly I think the world changed starting on Wednesday night. Our masters. Almost Augusta National was forced into, and it was the right decision. And then nothing, nothing. The Open was next to fall, and not since the days of World War II has the Open been deferred. Those weeks and months we endured at home, chipping balls and manufacturing our own golfing playground in whatever little bit of space we could find, was the only outlet for the loneliness we all suffer from. And then slowly, but surely, golf began again. Participation grew, the number of people joining the golfing community soared. As a sport, for a long time we've suffered with our image. Elitist and exclusive, and inaccessible, golf is not. Right, hello everybody and welcome back. People took up the game, and we connected with it, and found a new enjoyment, having taken things for granted for so long. And once again, we are now back in that same situation. So whilst I am frustrated for the situation we're in, what's even more concerning are the knock-on effects for others. Vulnerable groups, those who are isolated, and people who, for many, golf is one outlet that protects their mental health. And then those same people who flock to play golf in the summer when restrictions eased could now watch their fascination with the game slowly dwindle away. But in the meantime, we yearn for the day we struggle to get a tea time or stand frustrated behind the group in front. We yearn for the day we can take a provisional off the tee or recover from an errant shot. We, as golfers, are in an altogether different battle right now. The United Kingdom is at the worst point of the pandemic so far. But with hospitals we will play again. We'll play together on the Heathlands. We'll do battle on the links beside the sea. We'll overcome the slice, the hook, We'll make birdies together, you and me. We'll enjoy good times again. In the clubhouse, we'll bore our friends with a blow by blow of our round. We'll walk on the fairway together and stand next to each other on the tee. We'll strike balls atop a cliff top or down on a craggy shore. We'll do more for the game, giving back, traveling, meeting new people, and taking on more golfing adventures than we may have dreamt before. We will carry on the struggle until Ever in God's God's good time. time. The new world, with all its power and might, steps forth to the rescue and the liberation of the old. We will play again. <laughs>